not going to hurt me, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Do you promise? <laughs> no, no, you don't need to be frightened. <laughs> I'm just a fool. Are you lost? I knew it. <laughs> I know these things. Well, because when humans tend to wander into our forest like you have, um, they, they always get lost. <laughs> if you follow the sprites or the, the willow the wisps, um, they always lead you down the wrong path, so welcome. <laughs> I promise I won't though, I'm very trustworthy. Elves, giants, no, 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 you must not trust either of those. Um, the elves are usually quite trustworthy, but the giants tend to... Don't trust them. <laughs> That's why I like to stay in the forest. If you wander out into the meadows, then you're out in the open. Bad thing. Yes, would you like me to lead you onto the correct path? Where are you headed? Just out, out of the forest. <laughs> I can certainly help you do that. Yes, I've helped many people. Mm -hmm. I'm actually quite known for it. <laughs> uh, well, b before you. Zero, but I've thought about helping people before. But now a real life human is in front of me. <laughs> yes, so if you're headed to the human village, you need to be that way. If you follow the sun, actually the sun moves, don't follow the sun. You follow the stream. Yes, the running stream that way. It will eventually lead you to the human village. I know, I'm very smart. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Don't go yet. Have a little rest. Wait a while. <laughs> I did hear some rumbling and thumping. Thump, thump, thump. So I do believe there was a giant walking by earlier. You might not want to head in that direction. Just quiet, unless you want to be a little snack. <laughs> yes, quite a friend. Ah, oh, no, I didn't see any other humans, sorry. If they headed in that direction, they may have been... Never mind, I'm sure they're fine. <laughs> Would you like it? Would you like to see my trinkets? You see, I'm somewhat of a human expert fawn um, because I like to collect the human things that they leave behind. Well, sometimes if you follow a giant, they will drop things that the human owned and I can scurry in and collect them for my collection. <laughs> Would you like to see? Please, I think you would just love my collection. Perfect. Well, they're all here in my little basket, you see. <laughs> Do you like it? I actually wove the basket myself. Aren't I clever? <laughs> well, sometimes when I sneak into the human village, after dark, of course, um, some of the old ladies, who are a little mysterious, they help me and show me how to do a few human things. Oh no, I can't go during the day. If I went during the day, I would be captured and maybe eaten or skinned. Oh, I don't even know what skinned means. 
I don't like the sound of it. There's something rather loud, so I'll show you what I have. seen these before, right? Yes, these are um, feathers. <laughs> I know that one. They fall from the birds who fly above the forest. Not many of them come inside the forest because it's rather dangerous for small animals. I can attest to that. <laughs> I'm often chased by wolves and ordinary blackbird. Hmm. Mr. Blackbird flew over the forest and I was able to be lucky enough to capture a couple of his feathers. It's very exciting, I know. And they're so soft. These were dropped by one of the giants who had just taken in a human. I believe they're called Sningle Dops. <laughs> no, I haven't met a mermaid before. Why? I remind you. Why ever could that be? Anyway, 
Let me show you my single tops. I have two of them, even though they are very, very rare. They're very shiny, and if you look close enough, you can see yourself in them. It's like capturing the surface of the river. I also learned the hard way that they are a little sharp, so be careful with them. careful with them. <laughs> yes, they're rather rather sharp. Pretty, aren't they? I make sure to polish them every day to keep them nice and shiny. Ow! <laughs> they're fine, they're fine. <laughs> Do you know what they used for? No, you don't know what they used for. I'll tell you what they used for. <laughs> brush the hair above humans' eyes. You see how it trims them perfectly? Well, some humans have rather startling hair above their eyes, and these are just perfect. You have to be very careful, though, not to slice your eye. You could lose an eye if you do that. Humans aren't that advanced, they don't use tools for eating, silly. <laughs> Do you like them? <laughs> they might be my favourite piece in my whole collection. Although I do have some other things to show you. <sighs> oh! you see? Yes. These were also dropped by a giant. They'd just eaten... Sorry. <laughs> no. Yes, they'd just eaten their meal, and a human was with them. And they dropped these. And I saw humans the other day wearing some like this, so this is how they are worn. They are used to astonish enemies. So if they see you with these on, they are shocked. And they're supposed to have glass in them, so they blind enemies in battle. That's what they're used for. Sorry if I am shocking you with them on right now, I don't mean to. Would you like to try them? Ah, yes. As I suspected, they don't suit you at all. <laughs> Perhaps because you're not ready for battle. <laughs> you're more of a homebody like myself. We like to just, um, you know, stick around the places we know. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> this is what they are used for. What they're called? Xenodes. Yes. No, I didn't just make that up right now. At this very moment, no. Xenodes are what they are called. And they're to fight enemies and prepare them for. You must. 
know how to use it. Oh, please, please go ahead and show me. <laughs> so you're saying I could take stream water and you are amazing. How did you know that? Are you fooling me? Is it in fact? No, that seems much more plausible. Use for the sneen. Wow. I'm so glad I met you. So glad. Oh, yes. Again, it's made from glass. And it sounds like the rain. Bit a 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 bit This one was dropped by a human, yes, but it was a small human, just a pup, <laughs> or a fawn, or a kitten. I'm not sure what the term is for small humans, but a little girl with red hair dropped it, and I saw how she used it. Yes, she, she had it in her hair, like a beautiful adornment. you'll allow, I could put it in yours. You let me. Thank you so much. I'm just going to go around the back and do it. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, if you just let me put it this side around. And it's amazing. Let me just fix it on the other side. Yes. Oh, it's just magnificent. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad. Yes. <gasps> you can keep this. Yes, you can keep it. A gift from me to you. <laughs> As a little keepsake. My name? I haven't told you my name. How rude of me. I do apologize. As I said, I'm a fawn. My name is Truffles. Nice to meet you. What are you doing with your hand? Oh, you shake it? How? <laughs> okay, good. You're such a nerd. my first time shaking a human's hand, so thank you. Do I have anything else left in my basket? I have leaves.
the fangs of humans. Yes. I tried it on myself in a little tiny tail. Yes, fawns aren't particularly known for our fangs, so I gave myself some with the big dog. <laughs> oh, keep dog. I don't remember. Keep. Would you like me to? No? Okay. But it makes a rather pleasant noise. <laughs> Sometimes when I do it at night, it makes this sound. <laughs> and the frogs and the crickets reply. I don't know what they're saying. I hope I'm not saying something rude to them when I reply. I don't think so. Although there was that one frog that came and slapped me on the face with its little tiny foot. A little frog slap. But that's okay. I'm sure it was just an accident. <laughs> Something that isn't from humans. Hmm, perhaps something that a human has never seen. Oh, uh, I have just the thing. Where did I put it? Ah. Yes. The forest is divided into different parts, you see. We are in the dark, enchanted forest, but there is a portion of it that is made of what you humans call glass. It's shiny and shimmery, and you can't hide there. Every surface is smooth and glossy. And sometimes, Flowers grow there, like this one. I bet you've never seen a flower like this before, have you? <laughs> well, yes. It's just beautiful. Very delicate, though. If I dropped it, it could smash into a thousand pieces. And this particular the flower only grows once every hundred years, so it is very precious to us here. Oh, yes, well, we're not really supposed to pick them, but <laughs> I did. You won't tell anyone, will you? I know I wasn't supposed to, but if anyone finds out, I will be punished. Thank you. <laughs> my favourite smell. Us fawns are quite attracted to that area of the forest. We get a little 
hypnotized <laughs> by the flowers there, which is why we're really not supposed to go. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is mine, so I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> I'd rather keep it to look at every day. <laughs> well, I, I think you've seen most of my collection now. I do have more inside my tree. Thank you for spending time with me. I hope I see you again sometime. Yes, follow the stream. And remember, if you're still in the forest by nightfall, you must find somewhere to hide. That's when the things with teeth.